right guys, it's finally here. 2021 opening day, October 1st for bow season. We're ready, me and Jamie are both headed out. We got all of our stuff packed up the last few days. Um, we're just ready to go. We're amped up like everybody else is. Uh, this is our first time hitting it hard with the filming though. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a hassle throwing everything together and trying to carry out all the arms, all the camera gear, everything. Uh, but I, th I think we can do it. It's not too bad. So we're out here a little bit early to get everything going. Jamie's at a different location. He should be filming today, and I'll be out at my, my location filming today. So hopefully we get one down. We got a big, uh, big doe. It's been patterned pretty good. Uh, either this morning or tonight. She's been showing up a lot in the morning, but a little bit at night too. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get her down today get going from there anyways this will be episode one of brandon's uh 2021 deer season so hopefully we can get you know hopefully we can get a big it'd be nice to get a big mature buck we haven't really patterned any in the morning kind of still at night for us so um we'll go from there and hopefully uh we'll show you uh once we get up in the tree All right, guys, I ended up seeing a little spike. Um, and it couldn't get it on camera or anything, so uh, it, it was pretty far away, maybe 100 yards or so. Um, other than that, nothing. 
uh, when I'm walking down here, I'm seeing tracks in this creek, which is great. Um, but I'm also walking in on where I guess they're headed to the other side of the creek on now where I cleared the path at. So they're probably taking that, which is okay because I can actually shoot them from the tree stand there. So, uh, you know, it's day one. Uh, we'll probably be, probably be back out later tonight. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, it's always good to, uh, to see deer, which is awesome. I mean, two deer and both were bucks. I mean, it was a spike and a little, looked like a little six. I'll have to review the footage for sure because it happened pretty quick. Uh, nonetheless, a small, uh, another small buck. Uh, you know, it's cool to see that on opening days. Usually you're seeing does, uh, no, no deer at all when it's supposed to be 85 out like it is. So, uh, we're seeing them, which is great. Um, just not the ones we want to take this early in the season and no bucks that we want to take at all uh, this season at all. So um, stay tuned. Hopefully we can get one down on the second half of this video. If not, you know, this is just episode one and uh, we'll, be, we'll get a good one down this season. I have a good feeling between me and Jamie. Hopefully he's got a doe or maybe a good buck down uh, where he's hunting at, so. All right guys, this is the part I told you about. Um, stitching this second sit of the year still october 1st we're gonna sit the evening here it's about four o'clock just got in here on camera we've had does rolling in about as early as 5 30 or so um same wind you can see it's pushing even better than it was this morning so they there's no idea that they'll never know i'm in here which is what we want again um you know early october sit i don't want to educate these deer any at all and that's perfect for where i'm at right now um, the wind's howling, it is hot, hot, it's like 85, 90 right now, <laughs> I'm sweating just doing the interview, <laughs> let alone carrying in all the camera stuff and everything else, um, that didn't stop them, they came in last night about 6 o'clock, so hopefully we can get on them again, be patient here for a little bit, and uh, see what we see, and hopefully it's a big old doe that's been roaming around in this, these woods here, and uh, hopefully we can get her.
Right. All right, so it's clearly not how we want to end the video. Um, this is not why we hunt. You know, obviously we want to find the deer. Uh, when I watched the video on the camera itself, it's a small screen. It looked good to me at the angle I was at. Um, like I talked in the previous video, I was 20 foot up in a tree and then like another 20 foot drop into that creek. So you're talking 40 foot angle. Um, I shot, it looked a little high on the big camera, I couldn't tell on the small camera. Uh, once I got, I mean, big computer, once I got them home on the big screen, it definitely was a little high. Um, we did find lung blood though, right away too. I mean, 50 yards down the creek where he took off, found lung blood in the middle of the creek where it was dry. Uh, had good blood for about 500 yards. It was looking good the entire time. Um, and then lost the blood onto a neighboring property. Um, we lost it before we got to the neighboring property, but it looked like he was probably going to that block. Um, luckily, we did a grid search. Um, couldn't find him anywhere, but luckily I know who a guy who owns the further property than that, and he does hunt it, so I don't want to go in there and start, you know, walk around and tear up all his property. He's going to keep an eye out for that deer. Um, there's a ton of coyotes in the area. The meat's already gone, which is what bothers me the most. You know, I do this to eat. I don't do it to get the horns. You know, that's a plus, but, you know, a great memory to, re to remember, uh, remember it by. But it's not why, it's not why I do it. So, um, unfortunately, this is how we're going to have to end this video. Um, like I said, we don't want to do it this way. thought this is opening morning. I thought we were going to have a good year, off to a good year this, uh, this year. But as it is, it's, it just happens in bow, you know, bow hunting. Um, it looked like in the video he might have ducked just a tad, which if he wouldn't have, then possibly could have been a great shot, you know, double lunged him. But... You know, it, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, I could have shot him at 15 yards, but the camera's in the way. So, you know, once, like I said before, self-filming is very, very hard. Uh, that was my first, well, second hunt I had hunted that morning, but second hunt really diving into the self-filming thing. And um, 
kind of stinks because it cost me a buck already. Um, you know, I could have could have got it before that, but but didn't. Um, so we'll go from there. You know, shake it off. Hopefully, the guy I know finds them. That'd be awesome to add that into this video or later on. Um, because, like I said, he's bleeding out of his lungs. He's bleeding out of both sides. The arrow got all the way through him, too. So, I hope he made it all the way to his property because he was that's the property he was living on all summer. So, hopefully we can find him and go from there. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. Hopefully we can get another one down and actually find him this time. Thanks for watching.